hot summer day a couple of years ago. I was driving around all day long in my car doing errands. It was really aggravating, and I had worked myself into a really shitty mood. After my last stop at the UPS fucking customer service center, I got into my car, 68 Mercury Cougar, V8, 302, slammed the door, jammed that one into the tape back, cranked it way up, and took off. Turned the music up even more, and I started driving really fast. And the music was so loud, it was dirty my ears. And I'm accelerating into the curves down on Airport Way South, and the Zeppelin, and the driving really fast, and the rumble of the car. And all of a sudden, I realized that I was feeling a lot better. In this deep down, existential, macho kind of way. And I thought to myself, you know, if I died in a car crash right now, that'd be all right with me. And it's self-important moments like that where you really have to laugh at yourself. And that's how we came up with the idea for this comic. Die young, stay pretty. Who hasn't had some sort of death fantasy? There I am, bloody, tragic, sexy. I can picture my glamorous, horrific accident. Clear, starry night, crisp crescent moon, the mangled remains of my hunky muscle car. Some twisted, yet film noir, glamorous pose delicate trickle of dramatically cooling blood. And, most importantly, eerily, obliviously, the radio still plays over the wreckage. The drama I'm not listening to some hefty Led Zeppelin tune at the moment of impact. What if I'm listening to something stupid? Like one of those embarrassing songs I'd never own, but sometimes alone really enjoy on the radio. Especially when you're rocking out to something lame.